Hi, I'm Sebastian Strokowski. I'm the art director on Clone Wars Adventures, and thanks for joining us on our video series going over fun pets and housing, interactive elements in the environments, and all the cool parts of the social aspect of this online world. So the fun thing about recreating the Star Wars environments is that we had this huge tapestry of references to go with. We had all these different planets and locations to start with, so we were able to take those and recreate them in 3D and put them in this immersive 3D world that you can experience and play in. We've basically you know, taken the, the concept of the Jedi Temple on Coruscant and turned it into um, various hubs that launch all of our minigames. So you'll be able to wander around the temple, um, kind of ex explore um, different rooms and aspects of, of what would go on inside the Jedi Temple. Um, run into iconic characters from the show like Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan. Um, and they might launch you into minigames um, where you'll be flying alongside them playing Starfighter or a myriad of, of other possibilities with, with all of our minigames. So the process that we usually go through to make pets is we'll base it off the show and we'll think about what would be a fun pet. So. Uh, in this case, we thought, well, droids would be really fun, so we concepted a bunch of droids and then uh, came up with all kinds of fun little animations and interactions and uh, ended up with this great set of pets that you can, you can play with. Some of the cool stuff we've done, aside from just allowing you to buy a pet, there's also attachments that you can put on so that they'll perform kind of funny, crazy things in the world. And we've got um, a, pretty, a pretty nice selection of, of droids that uh, you'd recognize from the, the Clone Wars series. My favorite pet is the classic uh, R2-D2, and he, he does all kinds of different tricks. We've got him on a pogo stick, and he's flying around with his little rocket pack, and uh, he even has a shocker where he can shock all your friends. Every player of Clone Wars Adventures um, has access to player housing. For non-members, uh, they'll have access to the Padawan Dormitory, which is kind of like a, a basic kind of starter house for uh, paying members, they'll get access to the Jedi Living Quarters. The cool thing about that, other than the fact that it's, it's significantly bigger and cooler looking than the, the Padawan Dormitory, is they have a number of um, optional add-on rooms, so you can make it even bigger than it was before. So for housing, we had a unique challenge where we needed to have the same room use all kinds of different furniture sets. So we took references from the shows and from the movies and created these sets of furniture that could be interchangeable. And that's where we, we created these furniture pieces. My favorite housing item is the DJ droid. First you have this little fountain on the party deck and when you click on that, it transforms into this DJ droid, this robot that um, is mixing these virtual turntables for you and everybody around starts dancing. Currently for launch, we're planning on having hundreds of different types of costumes and wearables and items that you'll be able to customize your character with. You're going to be able to wear Anakin's outfit, Mace Windu's lightsabers, Obi-Wan's outfit. We'll have clone troopers, jetpacks, and all kinds of different ways that you can customize your characters. So what we would like to do is, as the seasons progress in season three and season four, uh, every time an episode airs, we'll have new types of costumes that you can wear based off of characters that you see on the show. Clone Wars Adventures should be a lot of fun for uh, any Star Wars fan, um, whether it's you know flying starfighters along Anakin Skywalker, racing speeder bikes, just exploring the world, or, or playing any of the other number of, of mini games that we have populating the world. I think it's going to be a great experience in terms of its gameplay, as well as you know connecting into the the, the Clone Wars universe as a whole. Thanks for watching. Uh, please come back to CloneWarsAdventures.com for future videos.